Hi everyone and welcome to Different Strokes. Different Strokes is a newly conceptualized uh, a series for illustrators, artists in order to uplift the Goan artist and those that are in our community. Now this was originally started by Glo a Global Goan Art Club that was conceptualized to promote Goan artists from around the globe. In this episode, we have a very special individual that has connections to Goa, but currently does not live in Goa, Ms. Akero. Ms. Akero, what is your origin story? And could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm a Japanese. Currently, I live in Japan. I married to a Goan, so I visited Goa several times. And uh, I started to draw Goan houses about 15 years ago after I brought up two sons. So still I'm a, a Sunday painter because on weekdays I'm a, I work as a teacher. Awesome, awesome. So how did you come about to coming to Goa, Akiru? And how did you fall in love with certain elements of Goan culture and how did you start getting to a point where you reflected those elements into your artwork? Mm. Uh, my husband is from Kansarim village and then there are several very nice old houses near my husband's house. So I found them very charming. And so I took photographs of those houses at that time, I had a baby, so I tied my baby on my back and I had a camera in my hand and wandered around the neighborhood of my husband's house and I took off the click, click, click. And uh, it was just like that. But uh, after I got time, after years, I got, got time to do something for myself. And then my husband encouraged me to do painting. Okay. So, so I pulled out those old photographs and then uh, I started to draw houses based on those photographs. That's how it started. Okay. And how, how did you find, what was the medium of uh, uh, creating your posters? How did you, how did you create your artwork and uh, how did you find your signature style in the process of creating your artwork? See, I, I'm just, a, I didn't receive any formal uh, art education. So what I did was I found uh, uh, some ink and color pencils, which bo my boys were using at school. Okay, those color pencils from of my boys, I started to draw. So I'm not to do, using any very special medium or anything very simple wow that's that's a very interesting take i think it's also for a lot of artists that are always worried about not having the right equipments the most yep. important thing is to take any sort of medium that you have and just start yeah right so yeah. Uh, also you have had a lot of artwork that has been promoted on the goan uh, the global goans art club on facebook uh, i'd also like to know like, have you ever tried to promote this art at, say, for example, an exhibition or any sort of fair? And did you face any challenges? Did you face any uh, comments from the people of how your art actually was? Uh, the, the exhibitions I had in Goa all arranged by my husband. So, <laughs> people who came to my exhibitions basically they looked very happy to see my paintings of one houses so, so okay. i continued to okay did, did you it. ever face challenges in trying to promote your art as an artist <laughs> to begin with am i promoting <laughs> What do you mean with promoting? 
in terms in terms of getting your art across to the goal to uh, the community and to the public in general how did, did you have challenges in getting to show your artwork to people Nigeria uh, and I don't I have no idea about it okay okay okay, okay. I, I basically that be a question Okay, okay, okay. Uh, could you tell us something, an element of also, uh, you know, the Japanese art and Goan art, uh, what are the differences and how did you merge or if you did merge the two culture, uh, the two art works in a specific way in your work, or was it two different distinct styles of artwork? I, I'm not a professional artist. <laughs> Who, who received, uh, who went to art college or something like that. Yeah. I'm not very informed about art. Even okay, okay. I'm not in, very informed about Japanese art scene. Okay, so okay. I, I, I know only a little bit about manga. Okay. Uh, do you know manga? Yes. Uh, so maybe call it graphic novel or whatever. Okay. It, it, it's a very big field in Japan. Okay, and uh, I I know a little bit because I myself was a manga writer okay. when I was young. Okay, those days there was a big movement in manga world, and then some very talented women manga writers uh, pushed up the level of manga world, and then men writers followed okay right it's interesting that it was women writers women who developed very sophisticated style and pushed up the manga world so in that sense i think did you feel that women that should not be repressed in art world Okay. Did you feel that that was an inspiration in a way to your to you taking the uh, you know uh, to getting into art in some form? <laughs> Sorry, I just I didn't understand your question. Uh, um, did you did you did you feel that having grown up on that form of art, having so many uh, women into that artwork? was an inspiration in a way for you to get into art or to pick up a pencil and actually sketch or art? Uh, there is no difference between men, uh, women. Uh, if they want to draw, they can draw. But uh, actually in this world, uh, uh, I don't know, Goa, in Japan, if you go to art college, all professors are men. Okay. Very few women. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's a very interesting story on the uh, manga art and that story and how it has been more female, uh, you know, oriented and uh, in comparison to male, how it was promoted and how it was actually, uh, you know, how the entire artwork of manga came about. That is uh, in a very own style, Japanese in nature. Uh, Akiru, thank you for that part. Uh, almost coming close to the end of this session, but currently, yes. are you working on any sort of new artworks or any uh, interesting things that you can share with us? <laughs> Nigeria, I'm still drawing one houses, <laughs> same things awesome. I'm doing. Um, yeah, I keep doing this because I want people in Goa. To uh, re recognize the body of Goan old houses and preserve them. Uh, they are very charming. Uh, even small houses are very pretty for my eyes. True, true. And any any advice to people that want to you know get into art or anything that you can give any budding artists that are looking at this. Uh, episode and are trying to be inspired. 
<laughs> Enjoy your art. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you very much. Sorry for my poor English. <laughs> no, it's, it's perfect. Enjoy your art. I think that is the highlight of the entire session that we've had today. And that is a takeaway for all you viewers. Thank you guys for joining us and hope to see you at our next episode. Thank you.